Our society is now getting a sense of how deep the problem of sexual abuse is in our country. Statistics have said it for years, and now we are seeing the faces. I want to tell you a little story of something that recently happened for me. I was at a bar with my friend last night drinking kombucha. I don't drink. Not that that's important, but just for the record. When the bartender spoke inappropriately to the woman next to me, and by inappropriate, I mean it just felt a little icky and felt kind of disrespectful to her. And when I acknowledged to him that this comment felt kind of weird to me, he asked and asked the woman how his words impacted her. He literally began screaming at me to get out of his bar while wagging his finger in my face. We left quietly and safely. Shortly thereafter, a group of us convening outside, men and women, utterly perplexed and frustrated, and literally saying aloud to each other, reminding ourselves, we did nothing wrong. We live in a culture that is accustomed to men getting away with this kind of stuff. With murder, rape, violence, screaming at female customers, marching terrifyingly and hatefully through the streets, talking down to women and children, and not giving a flying F what we think or feel. And in this culture, when a woman points out that one of these things is not appropriate, those that are aligned with this culture feel threatened. And when they feel threatened, they use one of those behaviors listed above to react to the perceived threat, att attempting to squash it and quell their own feelings. I personally have had enough of that. I am consciously aligning with a different culture, a culture of peace and respect, which, by the way, is possible. I happen to be in close relationship with women and men with whom this old culture does not fly. I'm able to respectfully speak my mind to those individuals without them losing their heads. As adults, each of us are able to feel and have intense and emotional and imperfect and sometimes ugly conversations peacefully and respectfully with regard for each other's humanity and the complexity of that which we're addressing. That is the culture I work to create every day. To conceive of this issue as a male issue that is somehow inherent in men is honestly a cop-out. It removes us of any culpability from, from us as a culture and individuals and takes away any sense of responsibility from us in changing it. I've known many men who were raised to be respectful towards other women, men, and children. So that's possible. I've also known many more men who grew up in this old culture that we speak of, and who, through getting help and support and being willing to change and being held accountable, came to think of and treat women, men, and children with respect and dignity. That, too, is possible. Culture can be changed. We dictate what is appropriate. We set the boundaries and the standards that we wish to set. Right now, we live in a culture of violence, and violence starts with our words, and our tolerance for that violence is reflected in our tolerance for violent and aggressive language with each other. And I'm speaking to both men and women, from both sides of the aisle, from all backgrounds. I see it, hear it, feel it all the time, and I am not alone in that. Sexual abuse, physical abuse, emotional, spiritual abuse, racism, sexism, it starts with a denial of the other person's humanity, which is their right to respect, safety, dignity, and protection. And changing that culture can start in a bar. This bartender last night, had he been willing to swallow his pride and own up to a hurtful, albeit understandable, use of words, he could have simply said, I'm sorry, what was that like for you? I won't do that again. That is being peaceful. Peace does not mean perfection. It does not mean that we don't make mistakes or slip up. It means that when we do, we rectify it and do what we can to restore the other person's dignity. Peace is actually possible. I want to work towards that.